guys sometimes i think uh, you guys you don't know how to sell yourselves because what taxable cash 136,000. now that's what i'm talking about <laughs> Hi guys, here's a part two of tech industry salaries as promised last week. Uh, part one is going to be in the description box. Get ready for chest pains. So here's what you can expect from this video. Uh, two software engineers, uh, a network engineer, Salesforce, Salesforce consultant, uh, senior IT hub desk, and a SAP uh, trainee. So let's start with this a full stack engineer. This one, uh, they have uh, three years of work experience as a full stack engineer. They work for a startup in Centin. They have a diploma in IT and currently doing second semester in BSc in IT. They also have a certificate from We Think Code. You know, sometimes get. <laughs> Sometimes people say you are unlucky. I think this one is one of those people who are unlucky because there is no way, even with a three years of work experience in Joburg, okay, but they work for a startup. Uh, they have a degree. Guys, sometimes I think so you don't know how to sell yourselves. Anyway, let's look at the salary first before I rant. Uh, basic salary, 21250 UIF 177, tax 2,638, okay, and then a pay of 18,935. So as I was saying, guys, sometimes I think, uh, you guys, you don't know how to sell yourselves. Because what? You have a degree. We have three years of experience. No, there are software dev dev devs that are earning way more than you with just one year of experience especially because you have a degree and you're in Joburg but guys that's just me I don't know maybe that's that's where the market is right now but I just feel like this is a bit low let's see this software dev this one has a national diploma in information technology brackets communications and network hi well nylon a basic salary 12,000 <laughs> <laughs> guys what's happening <laughs> and it says here on employment date is 2023 it means they have about two years of experience guys what's happening in the industry now i'm worried i am worried basic salary 2000 rands deductions 843 and in a pay of 11,156. And these guys, they have degrees. Come on, guys. No. I've seen people with just uh, certifications earning way more than this as juniors. Or is it because I had one of our friends, um, Molato, I've interviewed him. Uh, we had a live on TikTok and he did mention that at the moment it's very difficult to get a job as a junior, right? Um, it's difficult. So the industries that are open at the moment where he feels, like I always say, it's like your data uh, science space, um, data engineering, data analytics, you know, the data space and also cloud, you know. So that's where he feels like it's easier at the moment to get jobs as a junior. Cause tell me, why are you guys earning these such low salaries? <laughs> no ways. Okay, so let's go to the senior IT help desk. I won't lie, I'm seeing this payslip for the first time. Like I've never received a payslip from someone in this space. So this one, a uh, big pay regular salary, 4,845. Basic salary, 15,000 rands. A shift allowance, 1.5. Uh, public holiday, 2,700. Transport allowance, 750. Um, yeah, so total earnings is 27,875. But e-basic pay here 
is 27,875. Tax pay 3,000 rands. Total deduction is 3,812. And a pay of 24,000 rands. This person is a senior help desk. Okay. The one thing I didn't get from him is, is his qualifications but let me just email him now and by the time i edit this video i'm sure i will have uh, his qualifications but wow okay i know with help desk and stuff they don't earn a lot you know so i'm not surprised by this one but those software engineers you are underpaid now let's go to the salesforce product specialist uh, it's a fancy name for systems analyst. They graduated with a national diploma in information systems in 2012 from Val University of Technology. For the most past parts, he has worked as a system support agent. Then in 2014, he was introduced to the product called Salesforce, he worked as a help desk for a, a bank and then transitioned into data steward, uh, left IT and joined corporate and investment banking. So their main focus was data management where he would travel to different uh, banks uh, across Africa to help them fix their balance sheets by looking at their systems. Okay, so and then in 2022, he helped to build another uh, bank, business bank Okay, and his role was to roll out Salesforce in the business banking segment. I worked there for two and a half years, and in September last year, he was approached by a financial services company to help build their CRM solutions for their new bank, which is what I do now. Okay, annual leave allowance 3253 Taxable cash, 136,000. Now, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. 136,000. Uh, medical aid contribution, 8,482. Uh, retirement cover, 13,995. 13, Pays UN, 40,885 ish. Total deductions. 62,940 and a net pay of 76,378. I was trying to find the years of experience, but guys, you can do the math, okay? They've been working from 2015. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. And they left a link, I'll share the link with you, uh, where they train specialists, Salesforce are specialists. It says um, it's a free training and then there's like other certifications. They start from 75 uh, USD to 1000 USD, but they will also give you two free AI certificates. But I'm going to leave the link in the description box for you. Please like and share this video, guys, um, with someone that might need it. Now let's go to the SEP trainee. This person actually sent me their bursary allowance uh, some time back, and now they have a job. They are a trainee, uh, so they have BSc Computer Science and Statistics from UKZN uh, PMB uh, campus. Now they work for a parastatal as a SEP trainee. Basic salary 22,000 rands, gross earnings 22,000 rands. This is actually good for a trainee, you know. It's quite good for a trainee. Uh, they have zero years of experience. So you see, you other guys, why I was shocked that you are earning 13,000. Okay, uh, total deduction is 2,910 and then a pay of 19,117. Uh, now let's go to this network engineer. I had another pay slip of a network engineer, but they are. Their UAF was not accurate. So when I asked them, I gave them a week to come back to me and they, they didn't want to come back to me. So I can't post their payslip. If you're watching this, come on. You know, why didn't you respond to my email? I even searched them on LinkedIn, 
I saw them, the job, they are a network engineer, the company, everything was matching. The only thing there was not a match is the UIF. <laughs> I was not happy with that UIF. <laughs> okay, now let's see this network engineer. This one is a national diploma in electronic engineering computer systems, uh, part of the diploma. They had to do one year in service training, uh, basic, basically getting paid while you are studying. Okay, after one year training, the company took me in as a permanent IT technician. I then studied CCNA and CCNP through YouTube, okay, and other free sites on my own to specialize in networking and cybersecurity. Yeah, and this guy is going to move to cybersecurity soon. They told me this pay, this company pays well, Kesham. I know them. <laughs> they, do, they do not play. <laughs> Their IT guys are, are well paid. Cash component seventy three thousand six hundred eight hundred and forty six. Performance bonus one hundred and twelve. Uh, net up. I don't know what is that. Uh, six ninety four. Cell phone reimbursement eight hundred rand. Recognition payment one thousand total earnings one hundred and eighty eight thousand nine hundred and ninety one total deductions seventy six thousand one hundred and seventy nine and in a pay of one hundred and twelve thousand eight hundred and twelve yo pay as you earn sixty two thousand mm. pension fund eighty eight thousand six hundred and sixty nine Medical aid four thousand four hundred and sixty eight. Yane. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with this uh, network engineer. Um, please like and share this video, guys, um, with someone that might need it. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. I think the next video I will have engineering salaries. There will be chest pains there. <laughs> Bye.